When it comes to investing in stocks, the difference between success and failure often comes down to research quality. While social media and YouTube are flooded with stock tips and get-rich-quick schemes, professional investors rely on comprehensive data analysis and financial fundamentals. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build an AI power investment report generator workflow that leverages multiple specialized agents to analyze stocks properly in Pydentic AI. This is actually one of the workflows I use to help me research and analyze companies' performance to help me assess if a company's stock is worth buying to minimize risk and to maximize returns based on the information collected. Let me show you a demo of the workflow before I go into the details. When I run the script, it is going to prompt me to enter the company's symbol. Here I will type the tickers for Tesla and Apple. In the workflow, I have three specialized agents. Each agent will take on a different task in the report generation. Once the workflow is completed, in the reports directory, you will see three files are generated. The most important report here is the investment report, which contains information about whether a company is worth investing. In the report, in the asset allocation strategy, it recommends 30% to Tesla and 70% to Apple. I'm using GPT-4 mini model to run the workflow. But if you combine GPT-40 with O1 models, you can generate a more in-depth analysis. And here's the diagram to illustrate the agent workflow we will be implementing. The investment analysis workflow begins when a user runs the program and enters company ticker symbols for evaluation. The input check agent validates these symbols, verifying the input is valid. If validation fails due to non-existent tickers or formatting errors, the workflow returns an error message and terminates. If the inputs are valid, the workflow follows a sequential analysis pipeline. First, it generates a comprehensive stock analysis report containing fundamental metrics, which is then saved to the system. Next, it produces a research analysis report with deeper market insights also saving this document. Finally, the system synthesized both previous analyses into a final investment report with actionable recommendations. And that serves as the entire end-to-end -end process. Now let's dive into the investment report workflow development. Launch your terminal and run the command to install Pydentic AI and Yahoo Finance Python libraries. In your code editor, create a Python file and name it Investment Research Workflow.py. This will be the main script to run the workflow to generate the investment report. To access financial data and news, we need to create an agent toolkit first to access those data. In your project directory, create a folder called Tools. Inside the folder, create a Python file called Yahoo Finance Tools.py. In the Yahoo Finance Tools module, import the required Python dependencies. To keep tool functions organized, create a class called Yahoo Finance Tool with the tool functions. Here, let me quickly go through each tool functions. The getCurrentPrice method fetches real-time stock prices to provide the most up-to-date valuation data for investment decisions. When analyzing potential investments, current price serves as the foundation for many calculations. The getCompanyInfo method retrieves company profiles to build a complete picture of the business fundamentals. This data gives our AI agents context about the company's sector size, and basic financial metrics before deeper analysis begins. And here's the code for the rest of the function. The get historical stock prices method. This is price history with customizable timeframes to enable trend analysis and pattern recognition. 
This historical perspective helps identify how a stock behaves under different market conditions. The Get Stock Fundamentals method extracts co-financial metrics to evaluate investment quality using standard valuation measures. These standardized metrics make it possible to compare companies of different sizes and sectors. And here's uh, the rest of the code. The Get Income Statements method retrieves financial statement data to analyze revenue growth, profit margins, and earning patterns. This deeper financial analysis reveals the company's operational effectiveness and profitability trends. The Get Key Financial Ratios method gathers financial performance indicators to assess company health and efficiency. These ratios help identify strengths and weaknesses in a company's financial structure. The Get Analyst Recommendations method incorporates professional opinions to add expert perspectives on future performance. These external viewpoints provide valuable context beyond what raw data alone can tell us. The Get Company News method fetches recent news stories to incorporate market sentiment and emerging developments. Recent news can significantly impact short-term price movements and sometimes signals longer-term trends. And the last method, Get Technical Indicators, provides data for technical analysis to support chart-based investment strategies. Technical indicators help identify potential entry and exit points based on historical price patterns. Now that we have finished creating the financial tool set, let's go back to the investment research workflow script to develop the pipeline. Import the Python dependencies, like what I'm showing on the screen here. Next, create the validate input class to define the structure for input validation results and log away Rich's handler to log the executions. This step is optional. To track the output generated from each agent, define the report file paths. Now let's create the AI agents to handle the report creation. As I mentioned before, we will create three AI agents in the workflow. A stock analyst agent responsible for the initial report generation. Then a research agent will do a second layer of analysis and evaluation. And finally, an investment decision agent will generate an investment report on how funds should be allocated. To set up the stock analyst agent, create a function called setup stock analyst agent. All the agent setup is going to follow the same approach. In the function, set up the stock analyst agent. Here I am using GPT-40 mini model for demonstration, but generally for stock analysis, you want to use something more capable like GPT-40 and 01 models. In the stock analyst agent setup, set the input max token to 10,000 to ensure the agent can ingest all the data as context. Then add the relevant tool functions from Yahoo Finance tool module. To make the workflow work as expected, in the system prompt, which is one of the most important components in the process, specify the role and areas to research on. In Pydentic AI, we can use the system prompt decorator to dynamically append more context to the system prompt. Here, we are going to define the instructions in the report sections the stock analyst agent should include in the report. Then do the same thing for the report output format. Here's the setup for the research analyst agent. Again, the setup is exactly the same except the system prompt, which is the core component to generate the investment report. And here are the instructions to generate the research report. And here's the report output format. Here's the function to set up the investment decision agent.
Now that we have created the functions to define all the agents required in the workflow, create the main function to orchestrate the multi-agent workflow. In the main function, use prompt ask function to request stock tickers from the user, then log the received input to track the workflow execution. Next, pass the user input to our validation agent. From the response status, if invalid, log the detailed reason and terminate the execution. If valid, proceed to the next stage. If we look at the rest of the code, basically the stock analyst agent will draft the initial report that contains all the key details and metrics and pass it on to the research analyst agent for further analysis and advisory. Once the research analyst agent generates the research report, it will then pass the report to the investment decision agent to determine the investment strategies. And the investment decision agent will generate the final report to complete the workflow. Now in the main routine, create the AI agents and run the main function. I just noticed I didn't create the input check agent. Let me do that right now. For the input check agent, we will lower the max input token limit and in the system prompt, specify the conditions for the user input and assign validate input data class as the output type. Now let's run the script to test the workflow. For testing, let me pick the companies that are not performing well in the market. Okay, so for the script I use, I'm running the workflow asynchronously. And in this example, everything should be executed sequentially as normal function calls. Let me update the run methods to run sync. And let's try again. So here on the log, the tool call failed, but the real attempt was successful. Now we are getting a value error. A coroutine was expected. And that is because I was trying to use the async IO module to run the main function. Let me fix that. And if we look at the reports folder, the reports are successfully generated, which is a good sign. Now let's try again with AMD and NVIDIA. And this time, the workflow is completed successfully and without any issue. Now let's open the reports. For the initial stock analyst report, we can see that AMD gets a buy rating and NVIDIA gets a strong buy. And from the investment decision report, the report suggests 70% of the allocation to NVIDIA and 30% to AMD. And here are additional info to back up the reasoning. And that concludes this investment report generator workflow tutorial. I hope you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you are a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.